Mum, you should come and see this. What is going on, y'all? It is Far Gas here. Hopefully, you're having a great and wonderful day out there in the wasteland, friends. Today is September the 23rd, and this is the news that you need to know for Fallout 76. So sit back, relax, and let's talk about it, y'all. And now, hopefully, y'all have had some good luck with a purveyor special pick going on over at the Rusty Pick, and there are still a few hours left in this event at the time of this video being released. It stops at 12 p.m. Eastern, and y'all going on until September the 26th at 12 p.m. Eastern every hour hour on top of the hour we are having mutated public events and this is so wonderful to have back and I love that Bethesda and 011 have put these on the community calendar for vault dwellers to see and now this weekend is going to be absolutely wonderful we just got done with a double event because of the Emmy wins from the Fallout TV show but starting September the 26th at 12 p.m. Eastern and running until September the 29th at 12 p.m. Eastern we're going to have a double score event a double mutations event and a script surplus and now if if this is your first time with these events, the double score is actually only going to affect the daily score that you get from doing those challenges that does not go towards your weekly or any of your repeatables. The double mutations affect the amount of mutations that enemies have inside of a daily op, which is a great thing because also there are reports from Vault Dwellers about the rewards. Instead of getting one or two, sometimes you can even get a third reward during these double mutations and a script surplus is when the legendary script machine has 1,000 script available each and every single day instead of 500. And now to my Wasteland Builders, there is going to be a Spooky Camp competition in October by Fallout, and the Top 5 series is going to be releasing some information soon about some spooky theme camp builds coming. More information in our Discord, and you can find a link to that in the description below. Now, friends, be careful if you're picking up the V63 laser carbine before Theodore is giving you the quest, the unconventional weapon tree, because if you have it in your inventory, you may be like me and have that quest once you get it auto complete, which means that you will not be able to craft the V63 laser car beam. But we did submit a ticket with Bethesda support and they gave us this article right here that says they are currently investigating reports of players not receiving the plans for the V63 laser car beam after completing the quest unconventional weapon tree if they already own the weapon prior to starting the quest. So if you would like to stay up to date with this information, make sure to subscribe to this article on the Bethesda support portal and we'll have a link to that in the description below and now if you're wondering where Minerva is going to be located from the dates of September the 23rd at 12 p.m. Eastern and September the 25th at 12 p.m. Eastern she's going to be located at Fort Atlas and this is what she's going to be having for sale in her inventory and now Rich let everyone know as we head into the weekend we wanted to thank you all for the discussion around the new caravan system we've seen the feedback about rewards for those who are assisting caravans not being satisfied enough and wanting to let you know that we will be improving this by increasing those rewards in the next update for Fallout 76. This update, which is currently planned to arrive next month, will also include more fixes like addressing issues with the Power Armor HUD. We are also continuing to dig into reports of extended caravan runs. If you have experienced one of these runs, please reach out to us here or the Bethesda support team and share the information on the following. What route did the caravan run? What type of encounters did the caravan have? What upgrade Grades were applied to the Brahmin. Did the Brahmin have a custom name or any other details about the caravan run? And they have spun up a thread about 76 bud reports to collect more information on this topic. And thank you again for continuing to share your feedback and reporting bugs you encountered. The team is working hard on addressing these issues. Stay tuned for more information. We hope you have a great weekend. And y'all, this right here shows you that Bethesda is listening and they are taking the time to try to fix these problems. Giving constructive criticism is always best received, so when you are saying something about something that you don't like in this video game or anything in life, remember, the people behind the screen are humans too, and constructive criticism goes a lot further than just being critical and not giving any type of solution or what you would like to see done in a different situation. And now speaking of giving your Brahmin a custom name and upgrading your Brahmin, if you don't know how to do that, make sure to check out this video from DTD Gamer where they go over how to upgrade and change the name of your Brahmin. And now if you're missing the early days of Fallout 76 with Melee, I'm talking about 2018, 2019 numbers, then make sure to check out this video from Angry Turtle where they go over this Melee build with the auto axe that is absolutely amazing. And now if you want to know more information about the V63 laser car beam, make sure to check out this video 
from Wiggle Plays where they go over a build and talk about their thoughts on this weapon. And now if you're looking for more information on how caravans are meant to be experienced, make sure to check out this video from Revival Dan Old Bad With Salt. A lot of folks in the comment section this week told me I need to check this video out and seriously y'all, thank you so much. That's one thing I love about the Fallout 76 community is that we're always looking out for each other. And now if you want a full breakdown of caravans with a guide and all of the rewards, make sure to check out this video from Golden Geck. And Fuzzbrain put out a video talking about Embrace Chaos, a love letter to Fallout 76. And I'm so thankful to have Fuzzbrain on my friends list and be able to play Fallout 76 with them from time to time. And as they were talking about this video in the public world, I was so excited to see this come out. Amazing job, bud. You did a great and wonderful job. Everybody needs to check this video out. And now if you're wanting more information on the Corroded Concrete Kit, make sure to check out this video from Gamer Aviator. Noodle goes over this concrete kit and it looks so stunning. The work that she did with this camp is absolutely immaculate. Thanks so much for taking time out of your busy day to check this video out and let me know in the comments section below if you had to choose between one of the two factions, either the Free States or the Enclave, getting a more story-based DLC in a future update to Fallout 76, which one would you pick? Thanks so much to the channel members for the continued support. Y'all have a great and wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Peace. Love ya.